Time to win grounded. That's right. We might actually finish today. All right, let's host game. Probably. Yeah. Uh, so last night, Ramses was doing some building, done. right? Yeah. <laughs> Just got kicked they... off after a while. Yeah. Kicked me out. All right. So supposedly from the multiplayer view, you can actually give us host access to the save game so that we can load it ourselves. Oh, um, will it save between them, I guess, would be the question? Yeah, we killed Director Schmecter yesterday's zombie shop. Um, it seems that basically then anyone can be the host that okay. you have invited as a host for the game. Okay. Or um, you can probably just also send us the save game. That should work also. After after we're done. Yeah, after we finish, I will absolutely make that happen. Just help 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 me remember and tell me how to do it if I can't figure it out. Sizable skill gap between getting a cycle and being like the best of the best, yeah. Nice and clean. Yeah, zombie shop missed the fight against the director. <laughs> <laughs> totally not cheesed fight. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we got the win on Director Schmecter yesterday, and it was um, not the you most. You didn't miss much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I was the only one in the room. <laughs> we got him down to about a quarter health, and then the lasers killed Ankle Bane. Ramses was bugged out, and then was able to kill him while bugged out. So that's kind of what happened. Can I repair this thing. Actions. Repair. The long, grueling, grueling battle of epic proportions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grueling mainly because he was sitting in a corner waiting for the guy to come in range. <laughs> yeah. While continuously falling. Uh, okay, apparently I don't have a damn. Uh, we have a, a zip line directly to the Java Matic. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah. Okay. Trash something. If I hit Y, trash. There. All right. Yes. So for those who missed it, we are, I think, at the final defensive end of the game. We're trying to build stuff like crazy. So, um, what do you all still need? What were you able to get done? Should I come look at it before I start contributing to things? Uh, you know, clay. Mushroom bricks. Sap, I'm assuming. Copious amounts. Sap, yeah. Okay, I'll bring a I'll bring like all of these mushroom bricks that we got in storage here. Maybe all but one stack. Who's using the club of Mother Demon? I think both Ramses and Inkle yeah. are. I also got my barbarian mutation to three last night, so fun times. Barbarian mutation. Oh, is that from yeah. using the weapon and attacking with it? Yeah. Nice. I have level two. Awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll get more of these mushroom bricks going. I'll be the delivery boy here. Oh, let me get. Uh, oh. Looks like we're going to need more food rope, too, which we don't have any plant fibers left. Okay. Fibers real quick. I know food rope is needed for the traps. And that club is pretty crazy because it like stuns everything, it seems like. Done is pretty crazy OP. Well, enemies that can't fight can't kill you. Yeah. Very true. Ooh. Like FTL, cloaking and hacking weapons. It's just what you're supposed to do. 
you know, okay, it seems the last couple of minutes didn't get saved. Oh, damn, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, so I will have to... I didn't lose much, but I will have to rebuild a little bit. Yeah. From what I had yesterday. Yeah, it looked like it disconnected about an hour before I got home. So you probably got two to three hours of work yeah. in, I'm guessing. Okay. So you have a... Way over from our base. Yeah. Just look for the zip line that goes directly at the big exclamation mark or towards the exclamation mark. Exclamation mark, okay. Yep, I see. This is terrifying. You have a bad headache, zombie shop? Spreadsheets and number crunching. I do not envy you, my friend. Since this defend event is the last thing we have to do to kind of complete the story, I'm probably not going to take a break and end earlier today so that we can just focus completely on this because I actually have a I have a concert tonight that I have to get ready for. Anyway. So. What did I name my pet aphid? Uh -huh. He's Reggie, of course. Where's Shogi? <laughs> Always got to have a Reggie in the game. Although there is some sort of, like, pet house or something I think yeah. you can build. Yeah, you can get pets. <laughs> so Gives you some sort of bonus. Oh, really? From having a pet? Different types of pets yep. or something? Oh, God. Larva wants you. At least they're not retaliating. Oh, this is cool. I see, like, all the uh, walls you've been working on. Okay, I'm going to let go. This. All right. Um, I would like to build a chest because what I kind of want to do is like deliver you guys materials. Um, I have a chest. It's right next to the wall, to uh, the big wall. The big, which which is the wall? Which is the big wall? Uh, Are you? The, the Helm's Deep Wall. <laughs> oh, here we go. I see. I see. I'm gonna like deliver. Yeah. To you guys. Um, where's the rope go? That I follow up. Mm, sap. Okay. All right. So a bunch of mushroom bricks. Um, I guess I could also cut down. Are you using much in the way of lee uh, grass too? Yeah. Um, if you want to cut grass. Yeah, I, was, I can I, give you the intern badge, then you can carry 15 at a time. Oh yeah, that would be useful. But it will make you a little bit slower. That's okay. Keep that in mind. That's okay. If I can carry more grass, it'll be faster. Definitely work. Uh, where, where are you at? I'm right next to you. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right behind me! He sneaked up upon me. Oh. Alright, sweet. Badge. All right, so I do need... Oh, okay, good. There's grass pallets here. I can use that. So over here and place a bunch. That bug needs to be really strong. Pulling something a thousand times is mass. Uh, I still remember the line from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. 50 times! It's like bench, bench pressing a bulldozer! That's what he says about ants that are carrying 50 times their mass or whatever it is that they say. It's pressing a bulldozer. It's like the neighbor's kid who says that. Must be some sort of physics at play. Some sort of ridiculous ant. Size physics. Okay. 
So get ready, everybody. It's building stream time. It is a building stream. Um, let's see. Where... Is the stuff you're building back here needing grass? Um... Not yet. <laughs> okay, well, I'll deliver the grass here. Yeah. Oh, come on. There go. And... You know, I was thinking of a build. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a design for a build for something. For I'm gonna just build it out and see if this will work. Get one. It's over here. Oh wait, oh there's. The stacks there. Physics of the smaller you are, the greater weight advantage can something have over you while still being carryable. Similarly, if you're small enough, you could fall from no matter what height in the fall. Or need nothing more than butt hurting. Yeah, yeah. So let me see if I can make... Mushroom pillow. Honestly, we'll probably want more weed stems than grass. Okay. For sturdier building. Alright, I can go get uh, some weeds. Let's see if my idea I had randomly last night will work with stacking two defensive structures on top of each other. Man, after the stress of FTL, it's kind of relaxing just to come chop some grass. I say until I start getting attacked by ants over and over again. Hey, Blackhawk Down, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate that. Defensive structures are under Virgin Utilities. So a bit of tablet turret under here. And a pollen turret on top. Would that be a way to quickly switch between ground and air defense. Let me see. Whoops. This would be for shooting air, then jump out. That would be for shooting ground. I don't know how good this would be at shooting ground. I was kind of thinking it might be nice to have the two turret types at each defense place so you can hop between anti air and anti ground. The challenge would be what kind of. What kind of coverage they would have. I want to build these and see if their coverage is any good. I feel like the pillars block the bottom one. What's up, Dale and Dale? That's very weird. Keep that there. I'll go. Are the things that you're building over there right now uh, needing stems? 
Always. <laughs> okay. I'll go. I'll go collect a bunch of stems here. Always need more stems. How's grounded coming? Well, we just started today. We're building defenses like crazy to try to prepare for the final defense event. But after the stress of FTL, it's re it's just, it's relaxing, I guess you could say. These are a decent amount of stems over here. They they did give us a good amount of like raw resources to gather over here. I would say. Yeah, there's a lot of clay nearby also. Nice. This place is really meant for like a defense build, I think. Yeah, for like a giant building project, pretty much. One idea is that you have to build turrets usually in pairs or more so they can defend each other's blind spots. Interesting, okay. Defend each other's blind spots. Uh, Dale and Dale, your, your message that you sent me that was like really long paragraphs, no, I don't, I didn't read it all the way through. I, I, I read part of it and I was like, this is really long, I can't. I can't read it all. So no, I don't have any thoughts on your NGB strat. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a really long wall of text that I was not prepared to read through this morning while getting ready for sh stream. Okay. Does that give stems? Looks like it does. Good. I have a hard time with walls of text, whether they're in FTL or on YouTube comments, I guess. <laughs> spiky burrs. There's the defensive structures with spiky burrs, too, so I guess I can grab those. Yeah, so I'm wondering how long the distance of the EMP orc device is, if we can place it right in the middle or if we have to place one like at any outer wall or something yeah it might be worth testing it just to see if there's a way to see what the the range on it is <laughs> a giant amount of uh weed stamps that you're just carrying oh. around oh yeah is it really tall yeah Okay. Oh, retaliation. Oh, Lava. No. Payback from Larva. All right. Uh, Are I they guess... coming here, I guess? We probably need to be in multiple places, I'm guessing. Uh, is Ankle Bane... Is anybody at the base? I can head back to the base to defend the base, I guess. If you want to stay here and build and defend them. They attack here. Or is it Anklebane or Tyler that's here? I saw one other It's Anklebane. It is Ankle? Okay, I thought it was. Yeah. Um, oh, it looks like... Okay, I see a symbol over this thing over here. So it looks like they might be attacking over on this side, too. Yeah, they're here. They're here. I, I kind of just want to make sure they're not attacking our base. I also wanted to get Sap from over here anyway. So I'm going to go grab Sap while I'm going this way. Ooh. And they destroyed one of our towers. Oh, the entire tower? 
Yeah, I mean, it's just a small tower. It was just like one base that uh, Ankelbane had used, like a small watchtower. Are they at the, at the home base too? I'm checking. I just wanted to check. I feel like when they attack, they often attack multiple places, but maybe maybe I should... No, it looks like the symbol's only showing over there. Okay. They're only attacking there. Don't even need to boil it. But like I said, I'm going to go grab um, Sap. Collect them from our collectors. That's not falling. Oh, that's, here they come. That flying that's falling into the target, yes. Uh, are they coming here now? I think they must be only where you are. Yeah. Thankfully, it's just normal lava. It's not the, uh, the ladybird lava. That's good. I wonder if I can connect any of these uh, zip lines from the sap collector over to where you guys are. So I can walk quickly this way and collect stuff. Payback delivered. Okay, so it looks like it was <laughs> not defended. Great. <laughs> I mean, they destroyed something. Yeah. Acorns and sap over here, and I'll bring over. So I know we'll need more acorn parts for some of the defensive structures. Yeah, we need flower petals, by the way. Flower petals, okay. Yeah, my slots are those, cold, but I'll... those we need. Um, we need to collect those, I think, because we don't have many of them. Yeah, I, I know where to get them. I just need to empty some in space. Is what I need to do. Lots of sap over here. Pretty full. Dropped off some stuff. Yeah. Don't need fire ant parts. Connect this. Connect zip line. Uh, Q. Okay. Connection blocked. So I can't. That okay. Okay. So flower petals. So let me deliver this stuff to you, and then I'll go get flower petals. Flower petals are over, I think, to the east of the uh, of the oak tree, actually. Ropes.
Oops. Oh, we've actually gone through all of our uh, plant parts and silk rope, uh, silk stuff to turn into silk and other rope. It's crazy. Yeah. Making highways across the map isn't exactly cheap. It is not. That is true. In terms of resources. Okay. Here. And I'll go just get a... Do a bunch of farming of flower petals next. After I drop off all this sap, mushroom bricks, and stuff that I have. And ropes and acorn bits. Well, I hope with what we do, it's like total overkill. It'll be super easy. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. With how many enemies we saw, I don't know that that will be the case. Well, at least this time we know to prepare for mosquitoes. Yeah. I'm hoping that the pollen cannons kill them quickly. Those just, they just take forever to kill with our regular weapons. First world grounded problems. We have a highway everywhere, but the highway is too slow. Can't you go faster, highway? <laughs> Just buy a small a hole smasher. There you go. Let's see what it is. Take, take the ropes. Nice ropes. Spike traps over here yet. We do not actually build it. Pulling some spike traps. You no, know, if we just had a free flak from FTL, it'd be so much easier. Spike. Spike strips. Weed stems and thistle needle. All right, so we need wheat stems and uh, spikes for them, so I can get more thorns too. That's another thing that's over by where the flower petals are thorns. Doing all the mixer or defend events required to power this thing? No, we actually didn't have to do that. So we kind of skipped that. Let's wait. Let's run or go up to the zip line. It's all the way down. Here there. I think I'm just going to run. Are we going overachiever mode? No, no, we didn't have to do that for for this. Honestly, overachiever mode would be going for all the defense events. Yeah, we're nowhere near 100%. Yeah. 
It would take a lot of like grinding and building stuff to get all the defense events done, I think. Like seven days instead of zombies, you have ants. Yeah, that's that's a good description of this game. It's like seven days. It's it's Valheim or seven days in Honey I Shrunk the Kid World Honey I Shrunk the Kid's world. Uh, there's koi fish. Don't mess with koi fish. When you're in water, it's like Subnautica, so. <laughs> koi fish almost as scary as a Leviathan. Oh, yeah, almost. Doesn't look as scary, but it can one-shot you. And you can't even fight it in this game. It'll just... There's no kill on that thing. Too small. I feel like after our kids get re-blown up to a correct size, they should go and murder that koi fish for revenge. <laughs> re-blown up? <laughs> yeah, you know. Re-blown up to real size. <laughs> it's a technical term. I swear these uh, insects with the orc receivers are like sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads. That's what they look like. Sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads. Dr. Evil would love these. I wonder if there's any place else to get these rose petals. It's, uh... I think from the flowers that are next to the pond. Well, yeah, that's where I am. I, I, I was yeah. wondering if there's any place other than this that you can get them. I feel like I haven't seen them elsewhere on the map. I haven't been looking that hard either. I have, I have 20 on me. All right, so you have some of them. I'm getting more at the moment, too. How, why am I not jumping on this? God, fucking jumping puzzles, I swear. Jumping puzzles just to collect resources. It's all right. I wonder if there are more buildings we haven't unlocked yet. I don't know. Um, with the raw science, every time I go back to check, there's there's very few things that we haven't unlocked as far as um, the raw science unlock. Flowers over here? There's got to be more than that. Kids and fish, once the former are resized. That. Okay, sure. Uh, let's see. Can't knock down more rose petals, I guess. Yeah, I ended up with like eight over here. There's gotta be a way to get more. Can you like climb up and like cut down? That probably doesn't work. I 
Let me see. Maybe around the pond there's other flowers that have dropped petals. Let me see. Do a lap around the pond or something. Maybe messing with mosquitoes, probably. Other flower types will drop petals or not. Alright, flowers, any of you guys drop petals? Yeah, yeah I am not going to be able to get you many flowers unless I can find another place where they spawn. I mean, we need like one per cannon, I think, or per turret. Okay, that's not too. So we bad. don't, we don't need huge amounts, but we need them. Yeah, I got eight, and Michael Bean said he had like twenty. I guess I'll just have to wait for these to respawn. I'll go back and <laughs> bring them. Probably can't find it because he already got them all. <laughs> yeah, he probably did some farming already. got some thorns for the spike traps. I also needed stems for those, but we have stems over there. Honestly, uh, you guys have a bed over there, right? Let's sleep real uh, quick. Oh, there's a, a lean-to. A lean-to. Yeah. Let's, let's sleep real quick. Maybe that will get us uh, some resource respawning. Um... I don't actually know where Anklebane is. Um, let's see where it is. I'm, I'm at the base. Oh, you are? Okay. Just grabbing some more mushroom bricks. Perhaps we should make camp for the night? Trying to look at this little overview. I only see one place where the rose bushes are, so that's got to be the only place you can get them. That tastes really good. Oh, worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Oh, what did I just eat? Oh, water flea meat that hasn't been cooked. Okay. <laughs> Somebody just put <laughs> uncooked meat in there. Gotcha. Okay. Mmm, sushi. <laughs> yeah. Water flea sushi. That guy is like me. He doesn't care for the sushi. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> oh, I've tried. Although having it once doesn't acquire you the taste, that's for sure. That's true. I actually had to try it twice. <laughs> The first time I wasn't really sold on it, but I tried it again and then I developed a taste. Okay, nice. Yeah. Where have been these 
spritz back. Take the few ropes we've made. I mean, you can make the ropes by hand much faster. Well, yes, but it's also less efficient in plant fiber amounts. So uh, that's why I've been doing uh, this Probably way. true. No, so it's definitely true. It's one to one on the spinner thing. It's like three to or four to one. It's like you can make mm. three times as few if you do it that way. One of the first things <laughs> Tyler told me about when he was uh, when he was making those and joined the game. Oh man! I put away my shovel and my character just started punching the clay. <laughs> kind of funny. Just punch the clay. I keep forgetting I can go up to six max on this water. Oops. All right, while I'm over here, check the sap collectors. I guess I can go check if the flowers have respawned. I mean, the clay has respawned, so that's a win in my book. Okay, that's good. I'm guessing the sap and the flowers might have respawned and uh, been gathered, so I'll go grab those. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, it's raw! <laughs> right. <laughs> I wouldn't feed this to my 80 year old grandmother. I don't know, it's been a while since I've watched Gordon Ramsay. I don't know what he actually says anymore. All right, we're getting lots of sap here. Sap for days. Don't forget to collect some pebbles while you're at it. Pebbles, okay. Well, yeah, for the turret ammunition. That shouldn't be too hard over there. I'm guessing there's rocks that we can hit for pebbles. Yeah, I've been picking up a lot of pebbles. I'm just saying, I collect them as I walk around. Yeah. Just to gather the ammunition we will need. Yeah, for sure. We'll definitely need to get them. Now let's just see if these flower petals have respawned. Please, please. Slept since then. Mm. No, I don't think they've respawned. Damn, it must need longer than a night to respawn. Probably means these thorns haven't. Oh, the thorns respawn though. Okay. All right. I'm at the top of this rose bush. Can I can I get anything from these rocks? I'm 
stem with it as well. Oh, I do see a rose. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, axing or macing the roses does nothing. Okay, well, worth a try. One did spawn down here. Okay. What kind of troll. I need petals. Okay, I'm going to go up and pick them. No, you can't just do that. You can't pick petals. You have to pick them off the floor, either otherwise they don't count. Good little spider around. This is moderately terrifying! Okay. Got more mushroom bricks and sap and stuff. This way. All right. How will we know when we're done with the? Uh, <laughs> how many? How many layers do we want to go? Um. Good question. You're you're making that giant wall in the back. Is that where a bunch of things attacked from back there? It's at least where I fought last time. Yeah, there were like ants and bombardier beetles and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is definitely one of the main avenues of attack. I'm a little curious what the best way to do where we should be, you know, because there's only three of us and there's like a bunch yeah. of different directions they can come from. And there's like only so much one kid can do to kill things, even with defensive structures. <laughs> yeah. Did Tyler say if he's coming today? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we assume no. Oh yeah, I know Farb. I never, I never think it's coming from an ill place for you. I and I appreciate the help people give for FTL strategies. Sometimes I do just get a little overwhelmed with everybody telling me things. Uh, that strategy, strategy today on the boss with teleporter and poking and hacking, I do need to practice that. For sure, that was good practice for me to do that strat today. Let me go drop stuff off in this chest. Where's the chest? Is it in here? You move the chest? <laughs> yes, it's outside. Okay. It's over there. Oh, there we go. Okay. As you can see, I'm closing it off. It's the place. Yeah. You just feel bad about it? Timing sucks sometimes? Oh, well, yeah. And it's just there's so much to... There's no short strategy discussions in FTL, that's for sure. Yes. 
I did not mean that. stems that I got earlier. And I mean, I keep asking for suggestions on how to improve my play, and y'all are telling me. <laughs> I just, I don't like the strategies because they're slow. It's my own fault. Get spike traps going. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. So we got three layers there. The layers we got over here. Oh, nice. You got a turret looking down here, too. That's cool. Two under the third layer of spikes, I think. Your thing is that it just happens a lot when things are really shitty in the runs or whatever. You know how difficult it is, how much it sucks? Yeah. Alright, so I need sap. Stems, okay. I appreciate it, Barb. I do appreciate it. You know I don't ha have any hold hard hold any hard feelings when you're giving me FTL strats, even though I probably get defensive sometimes when I'm in the middle of a run, trying to talk about it. Come on. Come on. These steps. There we go. It's the rope. The sap. Put any rope here. I Yeah, me neither. I never take it personally. Or at least, I try not to take it personally. <laughs> it probably sounds like I do sometimes. <laughs> I missed a wheat stem there. I missed one wheat stem. Uh, I guess I gotta go cut down stems. No, I'm not angry. Why do you ask? What do you mean I sound angry? You sound angry. We're not building a base. We're building a defensive structure is what we're doing because this is like the last fight in the game where we get attacked by just like tons and tons of insects and we have to defend against all of them. So that they don't destroy these power, power coupling things. So that's what we're trying to do: build a defense structure enough, robust enough to keep keep them alive for a, a certain amount of time, while of the, the thing that makes us no longer be tiny is mixed. The embiggening cocktail, I think it's called. Spikes that need to be finished. Okay. This almost feels like one of those things where it's like we could just keep building forever. We just never know how much, <laughs> uh, 
how much we need to build to survive. Um, because I kind of want to put an anti-air thing on top of each one of these. Because it seems like the mosquitoes, like, attacked each one. So I kind of want to do what you did with yours over there, where I put clay on the top and an anti-air thing on top of this. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I think I'm going to work on that. I also want to um, connect them all with walkways. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So that we can quickly uh, run around and switch around. Yeah. Hopefully. Give us give us an actual avenue between so we can go where we're needed. All right, so to make the clay foundations, did you put anything, like any framework, or can you just place them on top of the walls? I place them on top of the walls. On top of the walls. Okay, cool. I'm going to try that here. Recycle some of this. I think I kind of need to remake these mushroom walls too, so they're. Yeah, even. yeah. You will probably need to space them out a bit. Yeah. This game is, you know, for all the people who love Legos in the world. This is a great game for Lego lovers. <laughs> yeah, these pink things are the power mixer modules is what they're called. And the insects are going to attack them. We tried it once yesterday and we got not that far before. We just got completely overrun. Yeah. yeah. So many insects. Man, to be fair, we didn't even know they could have mosquitoes and stuff like that. Yeah. Because we never encountered them before. Yeah, there were a lot of insect types that we had never encountered, encountered in the buffed version or the controlled version that they were appearing as. Alright, so let's see how well we do this. I'm going to make this completely square so I can make chips go on. I mean, I guess we should get some spicy arrows and maybe try out these uh, burr bombs. Yeah, we can try that out too, for sure. I don't have any spicy arrows just... on me. I'd have to go back to the base to get them. I mean, every one of us needs just like 10 or so, so that we can ignite some bombs, I guess. Yeah. Clay, clay floor or clay foundation, what you're using? Clay foundation? Foundation. Okay. Foundation constructed. Oh, do I need to go a little there? I bet. Don't I? Taking a look. It's good.
Perk. Half wall on these guys. Half wall. See if this height will work. Stations. Good work, right? Over the top of this. Beautiful. Okay, that'll work. Do not quite line up. I'm so bad at construction. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is not no. Taking a look. Okay, now all the mushroom bricks, let's go. Good thing y'all have been cooking mushroom bricks for like the last year we've been playing. Yep. Oh, that? I knew they would come in handy. <laughs> Seven. 
that's word network. Hopefully we can get in, but they can't. I might sign that. This music even reminds me of Minecraft a little bit, this little piano thing that just plays in the background. So peaceful. Now I see why you keep moving the ch chest around so it's in range of all the stuff you're building. Yep, exactly. We'll get some clay. Clay down by the water over here, I guess. I, I, saw oh, I did a clay survey, so it should be easy to find. Oh, okay. Yeah. problem with surveying is once you mine it, it doesn't seem to go away. <laughs> I wish you'd stop showing up on your map after you've mined it. Oh, single piece of clay hanging. Oh wow, there's a ton over to the east of us. I guess I'll go do a play run over there. This way, kind of this way. This thing's respawn for chance? No. area. Go in there. Stay. 
and over by this giant metal drum or something over here. Should have here. So much slower doing anything under underwater. Which is, I guess, like real life, so you can't get mad, just like real life. Underwater can't get me, bro. I hope. Go away, mosquitoes. There's something flying up there. Go away. <laughs> Go away, mosquitoes. Clay over here, delicious, delicious clay. Come on, mosquitoes. Army man with a bazooka, shoot that mosquito for me, won't you? No water filtration tablets needed. No. We drop clean water to dirty water, it just disappears. <laughs> Sad. Lawnmower, nice. I can see some small science over here. Oh, I have a fence of it. That's what I saw. Okay. Oh, don't aggro those guys. Nope. <laughs> Ow. Help. 
No, there's never just one wolf spider, there are always two. Huh, you fighting a wolf spider? No, two. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I'm just running away from everything. I got time for you. I got to build. Time to build. I got to Bob the Builder everything over here. Oh, and an Orb Beaver Jr., of course. <sighs> you found Spider Central is what you found. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. Wow, you made one long uh, rampart of a castle wall over here. Nice. I hope it works. And they don't just overrun it. We'll see. I want anti-air on this. How do I want to do the anti-air? Probably just right in the middle of this thing. Is what I want to do. Maybe on this high ground here. We all know how powerful high ground is. We're flying it. Okay, all right, it's got pretty good range on it. Okay. I'm going to put a pollen turret on top of each one of these things. That's what I'm going to do. Hopefully we can take out any mosquitoes that come for you, these guys. Just, I think. Good. I wonder how much we have enough pollen to even have three different cannons ready to shoot pollen at the flyers. And there we go. Uh, so probably we want... We just use the little baskets for... Yep. Mm hmm. Just a storage basket. I wonder if I can put it underneath inside. So can't get. Yeah, yeah. Attacked. They have a lot of range. Okay. Yeah, I want to put this inside so that it's not getting attacked by mosquitoes when something dies. release for these guys. Overleaf real quick. Saw a bunch of clover over here. So. Back to our base, see how much pollen we just happen to have in storage because I have no idea if we have that much. I wonder if there is an efficient way to farm pollen. Yeah, I don't know. Just walk in here. I feel like there's a wall missing for this one over here. one where you put the door, I feel like they can just walk through this. Let's 
I did not make an entrance to get in there, did I? Well, there was a little hole in there. You have little sneaky hidey holes to get into each one of these things that hopefully the bugs won't use. I don't think they can open doors. Well, like, some of these entrances aren't doors. They're like... Okay, now I'm stuck in this one. I can't get out of this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Replace a wall. Nothing. Yeah. Oh. Rope. All right, I'm gonna go back and check pollen out. Maybe uh, get some more rope and mushroom bricks going. We might have to like go farm bees for pollen or something. I don't actually know. I know that they, like, shrug it off their bodies when you're attacking them, but yeah! <laughs> other than that, I don't know how you collect a bunch of pollen. I feel like we're getting close to having our defenses ready, honestly. What do you think? Are there more walls and stuff you, uh, want to set up? Um... I have to check. I'm currently collecting stuff. I see two entrances with three walls with spike traps. Maybe a couple more spike traps wouldn't hurt. You know what? Probably putting spike traps around each one of our the, the uh, walled off power things would be a good idea too. So I'll probably work on that next. Putting spikes around each one of those. Oh, you can use... Oh, I didn't realize. You could turn sprigs and other things into plant fibers. I had no idea you could do that. Oh, we actually ran out of mushrooms. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know nectar was. I see no pollen, really? Hmm, maybe I need to do a scan for pollen. I, th I thought for sure we had some pollen here. Uh, we have three. I think three is all we have. <laughs> I'm not even seeing it. 
Where is it's it? uh, in the more in the more insect parts chest, the the third oh, one from the right, okay. from the from the right. <clears throat> Well, goodness, yeah, that's gonna be tough. We're actually gonna use some anti-air. Guess I'm gonna need to go to try farm some pollen. Here, if anybody needs clay. Stones and clay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go turn the scanner on for pollen and see if that tells me anything. I have a feeling it's just gonna tell me where bees live, <laughs> which is not gonna be super useful. It doesn't make sense. It, well, it doesn't work to have the defensive structures if you don't have ammo for those defensive structures. Okay. This amount just showing up on my map. Let's go check this out. See what this looks like. It's just some sitting on the ground or what? Maybe it just randomly spawns on the ground or something. Yeah, it falls from the from the plants, especially the yellow dandelions. Like a little tiny yellow speck. So how am I gonna see this? Unless yeah. <laughs> unless I need to cut down dandelions to get this. Um, you can, but I don't think even then it's guaranteed that you get them. It's weird. I see some on the map, but I'm not seeing it. Got some stuff. There. Famous last words. Well, the Danny Lions can't kill me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm wondering right. if it like spawns in the plant up top and you knock it down and it falls to the ground. Thing. Oh, ash cement. Maybe just strike it with a hammer. <laughs> See if we can shake it loose. Yeah. Not seeing any. Second. Well, okay. Let's go. Let's check other areas. I'm not gonna. Splinter traps. Ah. Wow. Ash walls. Goodness. So we haven't even the best stuff in the game yet. Yeah, Great. I mean, but the ash cement stuff is just so expensive; it's just not worth it. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds like you got to do farming of like charcoal or something. Yeah, mushroom bricks are fine. Yeah. Well, I guess we can't make the traps either. Aha, here we go. Found some. Ooh, they require lint rope. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I'm going to be going around looking for one piece of pollen per. Is that really what this is going to be? Goodness. This is... God, there's got to be a better way to get pollen than this. Pro 
probably the better way is just fighting bees. I wonder if you fight bees and make them do that pollen shake over and over and purposely don't kill them. Ow. Dandelions, if I could yeah. knock some pollen loose. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. I might just do a search because I'm seeing the pollen around a di dandelion on the map, but I'm not seeing it on the ground where I can get it. Let's do a quick search. What is this game called? Grounded, how to find pollen. Attack bees. Hanging out near flowers that bees are at. Small chunks will fall from the flower. Um, collected from flowering yellow dandelions. How? How do I get it from the flowering dandelion? Uh, pollen will also drop when harvesting it rather than tufts. Unlike grass, it will grow back again after stump. Hmm. So if I chop them down, it looks like I do have a chance to get pollen, maybe. Maybe that's what that's telling me. I need to chop these down. Is there pollen? I can't tell. <laughs> pollen under here. Hello, pollen, pollen. And this feels like it's just like a chance to drop from Daniel Pens. It's just not. I think I'm gonna go fight some bees. Try to get pollen that way, honestly. Let's go back. Before I do that. It'd be nice if when you were tracking something, it would like highlight it if it's like on the ground or something, so it's easier to see. These little yellow dots, I'm just it's like it's really hard to actually track and find. I'm guessing I walk by pollen all the time and just don't even. It, it's just a yellow dot on the ground.
me zap. Stuff to cook, so I don't get so bad. I'm some slurry. Fridge, all right. Dinner's in the fridge, kids. All right. Now I regret telling uh, Tyler. Yeah, we don't need a fast way over to the uh, to the picnic table with the bees. Awesome if I could like fight a bee, make them do his pollen move over and over again, just collect the pollen. Harvest you for your pollen, bee. see any. Here? Bee. Walk walking around these bees, all right. Oh. Drop any pollen B? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh. It's the worst Where's Waldo ever, just walking around looking for little yellow dots in the ground.
keeping these. Okay, well that woke him up, me walking by you, okay. How do I get you to do your pollen attack, sir? Oh, there, he did a pollen attack. Sweet. But did you drop any pollen is the real question. Looks like I don't see any pollen on the ground. Oh god, another bee. God, they're surrounding me. <laughs> Not another one. Uh, uh frickin' bees, man. Apparently their pollen attack doesn't seem to drop pollen. If it does, I can't see it. I've managed to get a whole ten pollen. Wow, where where have you been getting it? Have you been uh, these, I, I chopped no, I chopped down four yellow dandelions and I got ten pollen. Really? Okay. All right, then that's the way to do it because this is definitely not working. It's the most annoying resource in this game.
Like, I can't even check if any's dropped because I keep getting attacked by bees as soon as I kill one bee, another one shows up. But there might be some on the ground, but I can't even freaking look at the ground. Nothing else I hear, I swear I don't Yeah. Frickin' hell, I gotta run. This is so stupid. Goddamn bees. Alright, screw that crap. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go look on the ground just to see if I can find any fighting bees for 20 minutes in here. What's this question mark on on the map here? Unknown trail mark. Oh, I must that must be one of the things we're supposed to create for a list. That's probably what that is. I can't even see if there's lines in here. Big dip. Where did the, uh, where did it appear when you did it? Like the same place the dandelion tufts would appear at the end? Yeah. Alright. Well, that's a pain in the arse. I guess I'll go around chopping some of those down. Like, I mean, it's... That's one of the... I think that and, um... The tediousness of building are two of the things I like the least about this game. The whole... The consumable nature of so many of the resources. Because you use up so many things just to build arrows... And then you can use that arrow once and it turns into a crappier version of itself for the better arrows and stuff. Can't spot it. Makes it very difficult to actually use the best stuff in the game because it's all consumable. I can switch all that off when you start a new game. What, can you make it that all arrows are, like, retrievable or something? Um, you can enable free crafting at the very least. So, okay. <laughs> make it super easy. <laughs> Everything is infinite, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you can either go creative mode or you can also go custom. Where you play, like, creative mode but still have enemies that attack you. Yeah, might be what I have to do next time. If I do, if I do another playthrough of this, just make it so that it's just not so tedious to build and get uh, get stuff. Let's see if this works. Is there any pollen up here? up there that I can't. Oh, nice. Did find a pollen there. A single pollen. One shot, one kill. Uh, I, I wish. <laughs> Pretty sure one pollen does not kill a, uh, <laughs> a mosquito. That'd be nice, man, though. 
make it actually worthwhile if one shot would kill a kill a mosquito. I gonna do. Oh, I need to repair my stuff. That's what I need. Don't have those. That guy. I got some more ant parts, I mean, uh, bee parts if anybody needs now from that useless excursion. Alright, I'm gonna come back to you guys. Oh, I repair this. Yes, while I'm here, do that. I feel like the only thing left to do is get ammo for all our uh, all our turrets and give it a try. Uh, did get you make some spicy arrows? Oh, I did not. Let me change direction. I'll do that right now. Thank you for that reminder. Spicy arrows. Spicy arrow. Alright, one, two, three. So if we like each have a stack of ten, maybe, something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. We don't have that many feather arrows to make that many more, I think. Uh well here's a little. You know, I'm going to make this elf charm thing, too. We're getting to do that. Sarah's charm. There we go. Scannable. That gives a powerful embrace, combines the energy of both. You have invincible attack and invincible shielding, if anybody wants to give that a try. Their ranged attack thing. There was a ranged attack thing. Entomologist badge. Gains attack, but gives you imperfect. I might actually. Uh. I should bring the all the orc things we have though, shouldn't I? Um yeah. Yeah, we have seventeen of them, I see. Uh look at the recipe. We also need tough gunk, I th I think, and some other stuff. Uh let's see. To build the disruptor. Well, and the bombs sure. actually require lint rope. Sour lump. Tough gunk, pine coat, pine coat. Sour lump, tough gunk. Tough gunk. Put that in here. Oh, what the hell does tough gunk look like? It's like that gooey stuff. Is get one stack of that and then see we need lint rope as well for the bombs. 
I don't know that we have that um, much lint rope. I have. I see one no. here. One? No, that's not enough. Yeah, I mean there might uh, be uh, one. Next we also need fungal growth. Oh, we have plenty of fungal growth, like tons of that. But we don't have tons of, of lint rope because we use that to make stuff. Mm. Well, then can we? We can make one bomb. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll bring the one. If you want to. Try that out. All right, I'll bring it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I can make, it looks like using these sour lumps, we could make six orc destruction bombs. Um, I don't know what the thing you put... talking about that takes the other piece, though. Uh, it's the explosive burr trap. Explosive burr trap. Yeah, okay, I didn't bring the burrs of the fungal growth, though. I'm... Well, <laughs> we have the burrs. Yeah, it's we'd have to get the fungal. Well, there there might be some fungal growth things over here somewhere we could get. I don't have a dandelion tuft on. Yeah, I better not fall then, I guess. See a bunch of dandelions. I want to cut down for their pollen now, though. Well, the yellow ones don't give a tuft anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're making the uh, bridges between each one. Oh, wow, you're putting ramparts on them? Okay, wow, that's cool. Don't know how strong it's going to be, but it's going to look cool. Yeah, it's going to look like an actual castle we got. If we fail, we can fail in style. That's right. I recommend you save before we try again. <laughs> That's a good idea. I haven't done any save scumming this playthrough, so we can... Do a little bit now. Seems like if you're going to save scum anything, this would be what you save scum. This crazy amount of preparation. You wouldn't want to rebuild all this. Yeah. Where is the chest? Uh, bro. I'm going to throw Sarah's charm in here. And what else? A slurry on. A stack of clay in here. Uh, okay, I'll make one of these uh, things here. These uh, work disruptor bombs. We're gonna see how yeah. this works. You want to head back to base, get some of the fungal growth. Whoa! You build it, it just explodes. It's what? It. I didn't even shoot anything, and it just exploded. Did that use up my materials? Yes, it did. <laughs> what? Oh, the the bomb exploded. Oh. Yeah, you don't even set it off. Apparently. I understood your building exploded. No. <laughs> and that was. Freaking out that my castle just no, exploded. No, 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 no. The, Ooh, the okay. EMP, you just place it, and then it just explodes. That's... Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. I don't even... That's not even useful. Unless there's... I guess unless there's literally... You're surrounded by all these things, which is, I guess, what they're made for, this event. 
Uh, that's weird that they immediately just go off. Yeah, it was like maybe two seconds and then it went off. I do not know about that. But you, you can't craft in combat, so how does that work? God, I have no idea then. I never used those on my solo playthrough, so I don't know. Man, I'd say I'm just about ready to give this a try after getting a little bit more pollen and stones to get our ammo for our turrets. About ready to give this a try. Save and give it a try. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to do that. So I'm taking a look. That not. I think pebbles were okay for. We have plenty of those, okay. I'm just gonna bring all the pebbles from home base. Okay. <laughs> because we have like three full stacks. I will put, like, I don't know if these sour arrows are gonna be useful. What, what were this, I mean, spicy arrows supposed to set off what? Were they supposed to set off that bomb I placed? Is that what you thought the, it did? No, the bird trap. Oh, the bird trap. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I'll deposit stack, and I'll take like ten of them. I'm gonna go out looking for pollen. That's what I'm gonna go for right now. Saw a bunch of dandelions on the way here. We saw that pollen fall. Where did it go? Oh. Some there, okay. Dude, you're still following me? Go away. This spider free zone. Ooh, nice. Three fallen from that one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Cutting down dandelions. That's the way to do this. Fighting bees got me nothing. Nice, got four from that one. Okay, it's not too bad. Now that I know, now that I know how to find it, it's not horrible. I have to be in a place that has a bunch of the yellow dandelions around. This is a more fun Where's Waldo hunt than 
whatever I was doing earlier. Bad, not bad. Oh, ladybird, don't guard the pollen, it's rude. Oh, whew. I can't believe I dodged that. Good. Here. Yeah, I'm getting like three to four per these dandelions I'm knocking down, so it's actually not too shabby. This will get me enough for hopefully one attempt at this. I get cocky. Either drop none or I can't. How much do I have so far? 25. Another 20 or so back to where you guys are. I'd like probably about 20 per at the least, so we, that'll be 60 in total. Away, Larva. Easiest couple over here. Here, there it is, nice. We're here. A oh, couple more. Yeah. 
How many attempts did it take you to do it on your solo game, Ankle Bane? Did you do it on your first try once you built all the defenses, or...? Yeah, I got it first try, but I don't think I had as many insects. Yeah, that would make sense that there's more when there's more people. Plus, I had ridiculous gear. Better than our tier 3 stuff that we have? Uh, well, I mean, it was tier 3, obviously, but it's also everything was like level 9. Ah, uh, gotcha. You fully did all the, uh, the jewel, mighty jewel upgrades and all that? Yeah. When it's only one person to do it for, it's not too bad. Yeah. Even all the marble and quartzite, there's plenty for one person. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I think I'm going to come to you guys and hope that this amount of uh, dandelion pollen will be enough. Let's see if I can grab any more on the way back. Oh. It should be enough, I think. The main thing with the pollen is it stops them from flying, so the melee can easily kill them. Oh, when you shoot them, they'll, like, get grounded or something? That's what it says in the description. Oh, okay. Help if I read those, probably, then. Alright, let's see how... Yeah. Uh... I need a door into this place. Just let me get up. This one over here, I don't know how we're supposed to get in that. I kind of want to remove something and make a door. I can't get in that way. Maybe we can make a door in the back here. Well, I got in, but I think I can get out. <laughs> Here I'm gonna I'm gonna deconstruct this. Let's make a, a ten. Let's make twenty there. Now let's see. Mushroom door. obstructed really really though rebuild it every time we need to go in there I guess I'm gonna put the most pollen in the middle one because I feel like that's where the mosquitoes attacked us last time was in this middle Uh, how did I get in here? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can... Over here. You can get in along the cable.
this guy. So we have one explosive bomb. Where do you want to put it? Um. Gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> I also don't know how big the explosion is, so yeah. keep that in mind. Your guess is as good as mine, I swear. I don't. I mean, I can't put it in front of my wall because they have to channel through that, through that gully. So let's get into this one and put the ammo, make sure each of these works. Go there. All right, I'm going to check and make sure that when I get in each of these turrets, there's ammo. And if that's the case, I'm thinking we are about ready to save and give it a try if you guys are up for it. Uh, let me f let me finish the last walkway and then we can. Okay, so 140 in this guy. It. Nice. I'm gonna check each turret just to make sure what we're looking. For. I'm just gonna run and grab my heels in. Yeah, do I have my I have my heels on me? Yeah. Three good. And I can't climb on these myself. Okay. This guy. 20 ammo. Good. Yeah, it looks great with these ramparts in the, uh, what are these, stem floors? It's great. 23 ammo. Oh, we need a couple more weed stems over here, it looks like. I'll fix that in a second. Okay, cool. I had the stems. Where did I... Here, did I not bring them back? Maybe. All right, this will be the big finale once we do this, so we need to make sure we're as prepared as we can possibly be, I guess. And I guess we don't have Tyler to help on this one, sadly. That is a shame. Yeah, one extra person might, might help, although it does give everything extra health still. Got overrun so much, I feel like... Any extra help is definitely useful. Yeah, I like I like the ramparts being able to run back and forth. I'm probably gonna park on top and try to take care of the mosquitoes that show up. Alright, let's eat. This guy. Yum. Drink. Nice and clean. Ah, oh, I'll use my splinter arrows. So where'd you end up putting the bomb, Ramses? I put it in the canyon or a gully right in front of my wall. Okay. Because it's a very tight place. Okay, yeah, I as see. As you can see down um, 
quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, it felt last, last time like most of the enemies came from there, but that might be because I got swarmed all the time. <laughs> yeah, and it's possible that um, like that's where we also took the longest to kill them, so they were able to group up. But also there were a lot of the big dudes, like a lot of the stink bugs and stuff, I think, showed up there. So I'm going to start in the middle, ready to get in a pollen turret if the mosquitoes come first again. Okay, so I got my heels. Now my armor's looking Because everyone got enough bandages. Uh, I got 13. If you have more, I'll take some more. I always have bandages. <laughs> I'm going to throw some extra ropes. Okay. Bandages here. Oh, you know, okay, uh, yeah, cool. I said I was gonna build some more, uh, spike strips, actually. Um, maybe just a couple more spike strips around each of these guys. Where they, I think they'll attack, like. Basically, use up the materials we got to get any of the last defenses we can make. Not enough to make. Oh, yeah. corner. This will need it here, I think. I so want to do this this time to get our revenge from last time. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, maybe some more over here. Yeah. Uh stems. Oh. We'll grab a couple more stems to finish these. And then I say we save and give it a try. Here. Mm, no 
got spikes over on your side over here. Yeah, you got a whole line of them. Nice. Okay. Over here. Any last words, my friends? <laughs> last preparations. <laughs> I'm going to save what was it. it. What was it Winston Churchill said? <laughs> um, the only thing to fear is fear itself. Maybe that's something else. I don't know. We'll fight them on the beaches and we'll fight them in the streets. Something like that. <laughs> is there a way to... Okay, I saved it twice. Uh, oh, create shared copy. I have to do that from the main menu. Okay. Okay. Ready for me to go out there and start it? I think it might be time. Uh, well, let's fight. All right. I don't remember where I... Okay, he's way over there. Hopefully I don't need him to be over here. To... <laughs> Must have left him somewhere. Dr. Wendell. All right, chat. This is the big finale. Let's see if we can make this happen. Starting in three, two, one. That's right, the hero's last stand. Alright. Look for the mosquitoes. Oh, I hear mosquitoes. They're over there, yeah. Okay, that stuns them. That's stunning them. That's pretty good. Can you all knock them down while they're stunned? Or take them out while they're stunned? Okay. Alright, now it's getting crazy. I hear more mosquitoes. I feel like I'm hearing mosquitoes. I can't see them. There is one over there in the gully. Just attacking the wall, thankfully. There are ants inside the base already. Yeah, I don't know where they came from. I'm hearing... Oh, yeah. Fire ants on this middle base. <laughs> you jumped right at it. Bug. Or bombardier, I should say. Oh, oh, that's a lightning bug. Firefly. Okay, they're on the middle. Uh... Oh my god, they're inside. They're inside How did they get there? inside here? Oh my god. Oh, there's a wall missing. That's out. Let you guys do. I'm gonna work on. Uh, yeah, they're. Oh, did they get in here? Okay. Oh, they didn't get in, but they were working on these walls. Repair tool. Yeah, mosquito out there. I need to get out. me out. Come on, game. Oh, God, you stupid door. I can't even walk through the damn door. Can't kill this mosquito. Oh, 
Uh, we got ticks. Over. Oh, we got ants over here. We got a ladybird coming up as well. Okay. And a knock beetle. Oh, shit. Try this here right next to you. See if that does anything. Okay, a, a disruption thing is up. Okay, it worked. Don't know if it's any good, but it stunned him. Yeah, that's like it. yeah I seem to do the job. Okay, so that kind of works. It's annoying as hell to do in combat, but it works. Okay. The uh, mod is all still full power. I'm gonna go check on. Ramsey's side, because I see some stuff over here. Oh yeah, there's some ants down here. Can I use this? Oh. Nice, okay. I can't hit that guy. Oh, there it is. Got him. Hey, your turret did some work on these ants over here. Nice. Good luck, thanks, Nietzsche. It's definitely going better than last time, that's for sure. Uh, I'm trying to look where they're attacking right now, actually. Anybody see anything? Oh, here's one. Here's a, some ticks down here. Dust mites, I should say. I hear a mosquito or something. Oh, we got bombardier beetles from the front side. Oh, there's a mosquito. Ow. There's another bombardier over here, yeah. Nice. There's another bomber here. Yep, yep, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, shooting at me. Ouch. Alright, well, dust mites. Ox beetle. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use, uh. Why can't I do it? It won't let me do it. Place blue, blue paint. Yeah, I think I'm in combat. It won't let me do it. Nice, you got the big guy. Oh, I just shot you right in the back. I'm sorry. I will not help you anymore. <laughs> I'm just that you actually back. hurt. Yeah, that was more damage some, than you did. Some flyers. Flyers, oh, okay. On. Let me go get up to knock them down. Try it. If I can. These guys are actually attacking my walls from the inside. How annoying. Flyers. Oh, they're breaking through my wall. Way over where I can't see them. Stop it. They're, they're hitting C. They must be down below because they are not in range that I can see. The mosquitoes. Oh, they're on the they ground. They through the... Yeah. There's a firefly. Oops. No, no, no. There, I see it. I'm 
mosquito down. Oh wow, they just killed one of our turrets, I think. Something up here. I'm gonna go see what's going on in here. Are they they're inside? Hopefully not. Yeah, they are attacking C. There's nothing in there. Oh jeez. Oh, there's an ant in here. Okay, I'm coming to help. Ah, uh, I can take care of him. Just have to find him first. Yeah, I think he's. I think that was him. We got him, right? Yeah. Anything over here? That looks clear right now. About eighty percent. Eighty percent there. Hey actually managed to go through the oh, tiny openings. We're dead. Oh god, I hear a flyer. Oh, mosquito in here. Mosquito in B. He's dead. Soldier's going for A, it looks like. Ooh. Oh man, there's a bombardier beetle. Oh, wow. They are overwhelming. Oh, come on. Yeah, out. One inside here. Come on, finish brewing, man, finish. I, th I think we're good. <laughs> so close. No. GG, yes! <laughs> we oh. did it. Nice. Holy crap, that is insane, man. The Embiggening Cocktail. I think we've done it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go drink that. Precarious for a moment there. You have a gift for understatement, Doctor. Oh boy. Here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you fall? Oh, or come something? on! Oh yeah! No, I was the, just getting the, through there. The glass. No. What? All right, come around. We, we. It's time to drink the gooey orc juice of. Uh, we don't drink it. <laughs> we don't drink it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What if I did drink it though? We go back to where it all started. Uh, okay. To the um, the thing where the lasers are all pointing to. Ooh, look at that victory music. Yeah, nice, decent music. Ooh boy! We have to get to that little machine, I guess. That's. Lying on the ground, right? Yeah, I think it's that one. It is where the lasers point at. Yeah. I think. Do you drink weird glowing liquids I find in the yard? If I'm a tiny person, yes. Uh oh. Uh oh, no. Oh, okay, good. That's a dandelion there. I thought I was going to fall. Yeah, yeah. No. Better... Luckily, we can pass through that one. Hey, Black Fist from ET. It's a shame Tyler wasn't here for the end. I know, yeah. for the grand finale. After all we've been through. After all we have worked together to <laughs> overcome. Love this victory music. 
drop off stuff like I'm coming back. Because, you know, maybe we will come back for a victory uh, shrink sometime. <laughs> it's an electric guitar. This <laughs> is like Bill and Ted's finale music or something. God, there's an orc stink bug or something over here. Alright, do I have to go inside it and click a button maybe? Or is there just a button on this thing maybe? I actually forget how you this works. You have to place it in here. Place it in there? Yeah. Yeah, here. Oh, here. there we go. There it is. We need, we need to, to talk. talk. <laughs> uh, where are you? All right. Tell us a story, Wendell. Well, here we are. Back where it all began. I never thought I'd say this. Time to go home. For all of us to go home. I am a headless person talking to a guy that's only a head. How strange. For the first time. And it's all because of you. We'd better get you back to your families. I suspect they're worried sick about you. What about your family, Doctor? Perhaps they are worried about me still. But I know that I put them through a lot. I only hope that they know how much I love them. But there's no sense in being so glum. I haven't quite yet reached the end of my road. Though there may not be much track left to lay. Now look, all this sad talk has me mixing my metaphors. Don't worry about me. Whatever will be, will be. I need to go home, Doc. I'm sorry. I understand. Thank you for everything that you've done. I'll never forget it. Thank you, head in a jar. <laughs> A short survey. <laughs> uh. For the last time, Virgil, no. Prepare yourself. Large insect incoming. Now, listen to me. This is your manager speaking. We're about to fire up the spacer. I need you to keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. The last thing we need is an overload spike. Poor Burgle. But I need you to keep an eye on things down here while I'm gone. Regional science manager Burgle. Regional science manager? But Dr. Tully, does that mean we will be franchising? Burgle, this is a big responsibility. You are now the assistant to the assistant manager. Congratulations, Manager Burgle. This is it, my young friend. When you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast. Uh, we gotta <laughs> give we gotta give yeah. a hug to Dr. Wendell. Too late, I'm already thirty eight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, science! Michael Bay is teabagging. <laughs> <laughs> Michael <laughs> Push the button. Push the button. Cheap and unlock, go, go big. big. Mm -hmm. Honey, I blew up the kids. <laughs> All those dead insects. Was there a spider you guys were fighting there that whole time? <laughs> yep. That's funny. I wonder if we become the right size or not. Oh, several months later. Oh, we got an epilogue. All right. And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers called it. 
It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got into it. They tried to keep a lid on all of this, but the whole story came out about the kidnapping, about the dead teenager, about Armin. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmidt, just like he always did. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. <laughs> People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete, Willow, Max. Now we're just normal kids, that's right. How is he a guy again? Virgil has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot. I'm expecting big things from all of you. Life's getting back to normal around here. It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together. Aww. Game report Direct card. What it is is Director Schmechter actually found the cure for the raisining. Yeah, but he was just ahead. <laughs> I'll see a guy again. <laughs> hey, we got an A. <laughs> we got an A on our adventure. Oh, creatures killed 666. Oh, you killed 666? I killed 1313. Yes. What are we, I guess Round numbers. Bonus score hint. We got to do more of the mixers to get an S rating, I guess. Another. The thing is, if if you don't kill Director Schmecter, you get the bad ending. Oh, really? Where Tully gets blamed for everything and doesn't get killed. Oh, man. Let me, let me, let me point the E-Large Ray down my pants. That's right. Uh... The beginning says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a recipe for some really strange and horrible things, potentially. It's the end of the game. Oh man, we got a rap song to end. Nice. Uh, that might have horrific consequences. I feel like it will. Well, I think that's going to finish our stream run through of this one. I will make the, uh, I'll try to get the save file available yeah. for you guys to play. Thank you, Ramsey's and Bane, so much for the help. That was a ton of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me yeah. join. Seems like yeah. a fun game to like come back to every once in a while, just explore and have fun building new stuff, you know. Try out different builds. Yeah, try out different. Go go full wizard build or something like that. But uh, I'm gonna drop out of Discord to end the stream. So thanks again, you guys. That was a lot of fun. Happy to be here. Same. GG. And my friends, that is going to end the stream for today. So I hope you all have a great weekend. Grounded is a super fun game. I think, along with like Subnautica, this has been one of my, and like The Forest, this has been one of my most fun uh, like survival games. Uh, imagine the fences you would need to do that solo, the last fight. Well, apparently there's fewer enemies too, from what uh, Ankle Bane was saying. But I do got to get going, my friends, because I do have a rehearsal tonight. This might be a game that we return to, do another playthrough at some time because of how much I enjoyed it. Maybe change some of the settings so that some of the building is less tedious and some, and we can use some of the better stuff. Like some of those really good arrows you run out of so quickly, it'd be nice to not run out of them so quickly. So I might have to do different settings next time. But I am gonna call it there. So as always, uh, if I find another nice co-op title, we can play another one together. That sounds like a lot of fun, Ramses. We'll have to look out for another good game like this to, that we can do. But I do got to get going. So thank you all again for all the support. Bits, follow subs, give subs, working, hanging out, all that amazing stuff. I'll be back Monday for some more FTL viewerships and all that stuff. So until next time, peace out, happy gaming. Y'all have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Have a great night. Later, my friends. And thank you to Ramsey's, Anglebane, and Tyler for the great playthrough. Super fun. See you all next time, my friends.